What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video. This one is from our boy DSP's pre-stream podcast level one, whatever you want to call it these days. Our boy found a way to extend the closet clean out to part four. And we knew this was going to happen. It was supposed to be a one-time thing. He saw he made some money off of it, extended it two days, saw he made some money off of it, did it a third time. So he got some money out of it. And of course, rinse and repeat with our boys. So I picture him finding another, I, I picture him reloading the closet back up with trash and saying, oh, I missed this spot and do it another time. So he'll, he'll probably be up to five or six times. Anyway, let's let's watch this video where our, where our boy tries to milk his den heads for more cash. This is one of the many things in there, okay? There's a ton of shit in there. I opened it up immediately, I saw things. These aren't joysticks, what's this? I don't even know what's in there. That's why we gotta go through it, all right? So this is the very first thing. Super Street Fighter 4 joystick. I believe this is the PlayStation edition. He wastes so much money. He had that shit loaded up somewhere, probably never played it, sitting in the bin somewhere. It's, it's probably worth a little bit, a pretty penny when he paid for it, when he first bought it, probably a couple hundred bucks. But that just goes to show how Phil just wastes his money and he continuously still wastes his money to this day. And then he sits there and begs his den heads for more money. It's despicable. It's Arcade Fight Stick Tournament Edition S. So yes, I believe this is the one for PlayStation. Okay, oh, I can confirm it because the buttons are square, triangle, X, and O. So yes, this was for PS3. For people who bought Street Fighter 4 and wanted a tournament edition stick for PS3 to play in, in you know, tournaments. So it's pretty good quality parts made by Mad Cats, who doesn't exist anymore. I think now they've been re like rebought and relaunched, but they're a completely different company now. Okay, so it's really nice. It's got Ryu with Super Street Fighter 4 artwork on the top and the logo down there, okay? And sits nicely on your lap. The buttons are a good size. The joystick feels good. And quite frankly, I almost never used it. Seriously, like, I almost never used a lot of these joysticks. They're almost, like, new, okay? Um, so, when is this from? About a decade ago. In fact, if I look at the back of it... Waste money and a hoarder to boot. Nah, it doesn't have a date. But I'm gonna guess, I mean, when did Super Street Fighter 4 come out? Because this is from the launch of Super Street Fighter 4. <clears throat> I'm gonna guess probably like 2012, right? Or 2011, so it's over a decade ago, right? So, this joystick worked well with PS3. Here's the question. Would it work with PS4? Does it work with PS5? My, my joystick that worked with PS4 currently works with PS5. But would a PS3 joystick work with PS5? We won't know until we try, you see? So what we can do one night, all right, when we have a dead night, all right, and we have nothing going on. <clears throat> so essentially, he wants to do another closet clean out, but without making it a marathon thing and not having to buy food and, you know, pig out for his den heads. He just wants to open up a stupid container with joysticks, which he should throw all of them away anyway and make you pay for that. Here's what we can do, okay? We will have a night where it'll be the Ottoman clean-out night. All right? My storage Ottoman must be cleaned out. And what we will do is go through there and pull out everything that's in there, catalog it, and then test it with modern consoles and see if it works. All right? If anything works, might as well keep it. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I would love to use a different joystick on my PS5 right now. That one that I've been using is from 2015. It's a seven-year-old joystick that I've been using constantly. It's worn out. If I could use another stick on PS5, that'd be great. But I'll be honest, I don't think this is going to work. This is a PS3 joystick. People are saying Super Street Fighter 2 came out, excuse me, Super Street Fighter 4 came out in April 2010. So this is from April 2010, 12 years ago. But it's barely used. I didn't use it that much. See, it looks brand new. Everything on it looks good right so yeah that's what i would like to do 
is see what I've got, catalog it, test it out, and see if it works on anything, and then figure out is there any value. Because let's be honest, if this joystick only works on PlayStation 3, how many people are still playing fighting games on PlayStation 3? Throw that ten, trash ten, out. And people? So, literally, this would have next to no value. It's a worthless joystick, but it is a Throw it joystick. the hell out. Um, you know, would I even be able to trade this thing in for any kind of value anywhere? Or has its value literally been worn Maybe out? Maybe you could trade it in for some hair plugs. Fighting games on it, right? I wouldn't know. I'd have to look into it. But again, if it works on a modern console, then I'd like to use it. So I guess we'll see. Um, what we'll do is coming up. I would say in the next month, okay. Um, we'll look for a night or two when there's nothing going on, because I'll be honest. If you take a night or two. September, Told you, he's gonna milk this September, over September, and September, over again. Quite a slow month for gaming outside of a small handful of new releases. So there will be potential that there will be downtime for me to do something like this. So on a stream, I could go through, pull out each item, take a look at it, catalog it, see what it is, and then plug it into a modern console and test it. Because I know for a fact that I have joysticks there. He has no dexterity in those arms. That's a storage door for the cord. That's what I was doing, putting the cord in, so now it's less space. See that? So, I know for a fact that I have joysticks there both for PlayStation and Xbox 360. And I'm also curious, would these work on a PC at all? So what I can do is double test it. Plug it into PS5, oh, it doesn't work. Plug it into PC, does it work there? Does it have any remaining use, you see? By the way, you can tell it's not used because look at the bottom. See, no he displays your typical hallmark of a hoarder. Can't let things go, finds excuses for why he's saving trash, and just justifies it. And it's it's disgusting. No, no tarnish. If this had been used heavily, there would be tarnish all over it. All I need to do is wipe it off and it would be clean. When you heavily use a joystick and it touches human skin, it actually gets tarnish on the bottom, the metal. That's... my future joysticks after these models for street fighter 4 they started putting padding on the bottom where your legs go hold on or my joysticks now have padding under them but these older ones this was before they figured that out so all right so anyway that's a preview of what we could be looking at over in this storage ottoman okay all right That's a wrap, boys. Hope you like the music. I decided to change it up a little bit. Our boy Phil was just boring me, so I figured at least the music would be chill, positive. Uh, yeah, our boy has a problem. Our boy is a hoarder. He is a hoarder. Um, I can just imagine what the rest of his house looks like. Can you imagine that garage? That garage is probably filled to the brim with just trash, joysticks, electronic shit from 2010, 2020, 2012, 2012 old stuff that just has no worth whatsoever it's probably dirty and grimy and probably full of mold and he just refuses to trash that stuff and anyway you heard our boy Phil here he's going to come out of the closet two more times and milk his den heads for more money you know and of course they'll eat it up because they love that shit I'm pretty sure he'll probably start doing uh, uh cleaning out cleaning out cats uh panty drawers you know and uh you know they'll definitely throw some cash at that those lonely ass dead heads anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out